Sonar version 1.4, we added the ability for you to learn about the configuration of your network automatically inside Sonar so we can look at things like which devices are connected to each other and how customers connect to the network and those kinds of things. And we can use that data inside Sonar to look at maps, send emails to customers connected to certain network sites, implement policy and that kind of thing. But I want to show you a way that we can also use this information in a Procera device to do some more advanced network policy as well as seeing a better breakdown of your network. So I have a very simple test network here. I only have a couple of devices on it and I'm just using this as a way to show you how this works. If you follow the steps here and you set this up on your Procera, you should see a lot more data. And just as an aside, this does require at least version 16.1 of firmware on your Procera, and you must be on Sonar version 1.4 or later for this to work. So to look at data, we're going to create a custom view, and we do that by going to View and then Create Custom View. What we need to do is find some value that we're going to use to populate users into this view. So what I'm going to call this is Network Breakdown. You can call it whatever you like. And I'm going to add a filter here. And when I add a filter, the filter I want to choose is session context. The operator is going to be equals. And Sonar writes a session context schema that's just called Sonar. And this from Sonar value will always be one. And we just add that to make it easy for you to do things like these custom live views. So what we're saying here is any subscriber that is in the Sonar schema that has a from Sonar value of one, we want to add them into this view. Next thing we're going to do is go to distribution, and this lets us set up the breakdown of how these customers are categorized in the view. So what I'm going to do first is add a new distribution. I'm going to go to session context, and I'm going to say my top level I want to be my network site, and then my next level I want to be, let's see what would make sense under there, probably my model category. So this would be things like, uh, I don't know, routers, access points, whatever you've set up as your inventory model categories inside Sonar. So I'm going to say I want my categories next. After that, I want my model name. So if my category was routers, my model name might be Cisco 7600, Microtik Cloud Core, something like that. And then my next breakdown I'm going to have here is going to be can either pick the inventory item ID that a customer is connected to or the IP. It's probably easier for me to identify by the IP, so I'll pick that. And then at the very end, we'll do localhost. So let me show you how this looks. This is going to take a few seconds here to populate, but with that breakdown I set up, you're going to see I can now go through this hierarchy and look at all my customers. So my top level was my network site name. I only have one right now, but you'd see all of yours here. If I open that up, I then have my model categories, so I have routers. Below that, I have RB750, which is the model name of a router. Below that, I have the IP address of the individual router, and below that, I have the IP of a subscriber. So if you imagine what this would look like on a real network, I'd have maybe 10 different models of routers underneath my routers category. Maybe I'd have another category like access points. I'd have multiple router IPs here. Uh, if I had multiple routers at my network sites and so on. And so you can really set up this hierarchy any way you want. You could just have the network site name, the IP of the parent, and then all the IPs of the subscribers under there. And you can always come back and right click on this custom view and change the distribution here to be ordered any way you want or to add any of the other attributes we have here to your breakdown. You can also use these attributes and rules. And the way we do that is to go into the object and rules editor and under objects we have an option for session context objects and so if I right click in there and create a new object and I can just call this whatever I want I can add an item into here and the first option is the schema name which is sonar and then you need a column name and value so this is what we want to match on when we use this object so if we go back and look at our custom view here you can see what all the different column names are that are available by just clicking in here and looking. So an example here is, let's say, uh, network site, right? So let me bring my rules back over. And we're going to put in network site. 
And then the value would be the name of the network site that you want to use for this object. So I'd have something like test network site is one I have in there. You could add other network sites. And now I'm able to use that session context object in specific rules. It could be in shaping rules. I can split a shaping object using that session context object. So uh, let's say I wanted to shape everybody on that network site to a total of 100 mags. I never want all of my users that are on my test network site to exceed 100 mags. And this is just an example, right? You can use these objects in any of the rules inside uh, Procera. But first what we do is create a shaping object. So I'm going to create a shaping object in here and I'm just going to call it 100 mags. And I'm going to set this to 100 mags because I want to shape everyone on my site to 100 mags. I'm going to split by none. Uh, I want to put everybody that matches into the shaper, but uh, you know you could sh split by the subscriber. You can even split by a session context object. So I could split on that, that network site name. And then I'm going to shaping rules. And I'm going to put in a rule here, and I'm going to say limit test network site. And in my rule, I'm going to add my 100 meg shaping object. And in the conditions here, I'm going to say and my object, session context object. And we had the one called test that I created, so I'm going to pick that there. And if we look back in session context objects, that's that same one I just created where we're looking for anybody with a network site value of test network site. So this shaping rule that I have is saying anybody that matches that session context object up here is going to get limited to 100 megs. So then if I save that, and I'll go ahead and close out this rule editor once it's done saving. Okay, so you see under test network site we have one subscriber, right? I have 192.168.1.12. So if we now go to shaping objects and we look down here into my bidirectional at 100 megs, uh, we have eight connections going into there right now at a rate of um, about 11k or so. And if I go back in here, that's going to be roughly where this one is. So we're getting one shaping object created. We got five copies in there that are matching on that. So you can kind of see how you can utilize these. This is just another way that we can push more data into Procera and really give you the ability to do the kind of shaping and policy enforcement that you want. But even if you do nothing else other than create this custom view, it's going to give you a really deep dive into your network to see exactly where data is coming from, which network site it's on, you know, what an access point or ONT or CMTS or whatever type of network you may have to look at that aggregation device and see which customers are connected to it in, in pretty much real time.